Grade point averages can be created to calculate quarter GPAs, semester GPAs, or all year GPAs in student information when making grade point average sets. To create a quarter one GPA, navigate to the GPA set maintenance screen and click add GPA set. Enter a name and code for your set. The description is optional. The mark credit types are applicable only to current year courses. To calculate a quarter GPA, select progress one. Typically, quarter marks are progress one, semester averages are progress two, and finals are earned. Select the appropriate grade level that will have this GPA calculated and move the proper reporting term and mark type to the boxes on the right. Click Next to navigate to the Calculations tab. Select the formula from the Formula drop-down list. For Standard GPA Calculation Alpha, precision is the number of decimal places used in the GPA. It can be anywhere from 0 to 5, but many leave the precision set to 3, which results in a GPA displaying as 3.865. Once you have selected a formula, Missing Marks Handling lets you choose how the GPA set treats students with missing marks. If you select Ignore Mark, any course's missing grades will not count against the student. If you select Ignore Student, any student with a missing mark will not have a GPA calculated. If you select U0, it is the same as giving the student a grade of F for that course. The other checkboxes on the page are optional. Click Next to navigate to the Rank tab. In the Source drop-down list, select how you want the students to be ranked. GPA will rank students from highest to lowest GPA. Credits will rank students based on the number of credits they earned on the courses used in the GPA calculation. Points will rank students according to the number of points they have for classes included in the GPA. Finally, you need to select how GPA rank will handle ties. In the Ties drop-down list, if you select Count All Students as the Same, it will rank students with the same GPA as the same rank. For example, if the first four students have a GPA of 4.0, GPA is chosen as the source, and you select to count all students as the same, all four students would be ranked number one. The next student will be ranked number five, and so on. The count each student separately method doesn't allow ties, so if you select this option, each student will be ranked separately. You can also select the Include Inactive Students checkbox to calculate the GPA of students who have an overall student status of inactive. Now that you have created the GPA set, you need to refresh it so that it calculates for the proper students. To refresh the GPA, click the Refresh icon. This starts a job on the Batch Report Management screen. Once the job completes, you can navigate to Student Information, SIS, Course History, Student GPA Rank, and view the GPA set by grade level. Click the magnifying glass next to the student name if you want to view more details. To view all GPAs generated for an individual student, after putting the student in context, navigate to Student Information, SIS, Student, Course History, GPA History.